Hello, my peachy people. <laughs> I've missed you guys so much. I know it has been so long and I have been wanting to connect with you guys way more and sooner than I have, but life has just been a lot and I have really been trying to just figure myself out and I'm doing the work, but it often means that I don't have time for YouTube or I don't have time to be creative anymore. Sometimes I just don't even have the capacity to think. So with me running a new business and trying to figure life out, uh, it's been tricky. But I filmed this a while ago and I still feel like it's something that I want to share with you guys. But I originally decided not to. And this is just because of a safety reason. I... I'll give you guys some tea and you know only a few people know this but I do actually have a restraining order against someone that used to live in the same building as me um, didn't have a romantic relationship or friendship with the person at all so it just goes to show that you know your living space is supposed to be a very private and, and sacred space so and that is why I put it off but I think I've been pretty careful in editing and it's still something I really wanted to share and you know as a creator, there's nothing worse than like having content that you've filmed, edited, just sitting around, you know? So basically, this is my moving vlog that actually happened quite a few months ago. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I know, like everyone moves and I know that it's stressful and we can all kind of relate and maybe we can learn something here together, um, share some tips in the comments. But without any further ado, you're gonna get used to this big old face but not looking like this <laughs> in this video here's my moving vlog so it is currently wednesday the 24th of january and um i'm technically moving tomorrow so i just thought i would show you what things are looking like i probably spent the past two weekends packing with my mom shout out to mom you are an absolute lifesaver i don't know how i would have done this without my mom guys real talk so Thank you, mommy. It's kind of like at that stage where I feel like I still have a lot to do, but it's probably a lot of like, sorry, it's so noisy outside. Probably a lot of like knickknacks and things that don't fit in certain boxes. But this is what things are currently looking like. So this is my lounge area. Um, my plants are ready. I'm currently watching The Trust. Let me know if you guys are watching it as well. And um, this is the stuff I'm talking about. Like. I don't have boxes to fit this in right now, so there's that. Then this is the pile of packaging, extra boxes, kitchen cupboards are packed. That's also packed. Maggie has her own little box ready. Kitchen is looking like a fat mess. Um, still need to put this away, and um, obviously dishes, all of that good stuff. This is the packing table. Um, curtains, I think I need to vacuum pack those. And then through here, this bathroom is pretty much done. Um, I just need to make sure I have enough toilet paper for the movers and hand wash and stuff. Um, that's empty. And then this is the main room with most of what's going on. So we've kind of categorized everything. Lounge boxes, bedroom two, bedroom one is somewhere over there. A little bit of my furniture headboard and then these covers are also full um, of stuff and then I think the room that is stressing me out the most is pro oh I think we also have boxes in here um, is my bedroom so I'm basically what I'm trying to do is I have everything that I'm personally moving in here but how crazy look at what my headboard did it's so dirty um, and then yeah my bathroom still got things to pack into boxes yeah so basically tomorrow I'm getting I'm doing the handover of the keys at 10 a.m. in the morning I'm taking my helper with me which I'll also have a bunch of stuff in my car and um, that's mostly just gonna be clothes because I have too many of them and they're very heavy and I don't want them to go missing either but we're just gonna see what, what fits in there I have a very small car by the way I have a mini Cooper so <laughs> We'll see how that goes. I need to finish packing some appliances right now. And I feel like a lot of this vlog is gonna just be filmed on my phone. And like, honestly, whatever I can, because moving, 
I'm sure you guys know is one of the most stressful things on this planet and doing it by yourself is even harder but my bestie Alika is actually coming tomorrow I think she'll be able to help me out um, a little bit but I don't expect her to do everything and be there with me the whole day because it is her day off of work a little bit stressed about Mags and how she's gonna cope with all the sounds, movers, men she doesn't like men that much so let me get to it and let's hope that this actually becomes a vlog <laughs> just to give you guys come some perspective this is how big my car is there's not much going on in here there's just two we open that's Anika's hubbly um two back seats that are barely back seats and then two front seats and the boot is almost non-existent that's my boot <laughs> good morning everyone it is officially t minus one day till i actually move technically i'm moving in today but um i don't really have much help it's just me and my <clears throat> my helper portia and she's mostly just um cleaning out the unit anyway but i thought i would just spend five minutes with you quickly doing my current skincare routine so i've mentioned this on my instagram before if you're not following me you can do that there but i was sent this press drop by Hada Labo tokyo um that i've actually been so obsessed with i really never thought much of it before but my gosh it's really just doing the things for my skin it just makes it so plump and moisturized so um this is basically like a lotion which is kind of interesting because most lotions are like cream but this is more like a a serum it's got seven types of hyaluronic acid which is stunning and then this is a bit more of a luxurious one this is like the skin plumping gel which sometimes I feel like you don't need to use both but like I feel like I'm gonna be all dry and very dehydrated for the next couple of days I'm gonna try to drink as much water as possible but as you can see it's like a a gel like consistency and it's just so luxurious so yeah if you have like combination skin also sensitive skin uh, and you're looking for something that hydrates not necessarily that like does anything else then this is definitely a range that I would recommend um, I don't know in a way else in the world is available but it is available in South Africa I think it's like I wouldn't say reasonably priced price is such a relative word because what's reasonably priced to me might not be reasonably priced to the next person but I think like it's mid-range it's not like on the premium side of things even though it feels premium and then another thing that I've been loving is this um, sunscreen of this guys this is not sponsored at all this is probably my favorite sunscreen then Helio Care then La Roche Posay um, because this does not burn my eyes it literally looks like I have glass skin at the end of it uh, it's SPF 50 and it is also water resistant and it's got a matte look but I feel like it's more like a glass skin look I've, I don't know what it looks like on um, deeper skin tones uh, so I can't vouch for that if it's gonna make people look purple or not Mm, but basically it was like it says that it's Japan's number one selling skincare range and then they kind of remade it for the rest of the world so yeah when you first rub it in it's definitely a bit of a white cast but it completely disappears would highly recommend even my mom went and bought some this past week um, obviously it's got to dry down but like is my skin not skinning look at that forehead I'm into it so yeah, I need to get ready. We, what is the time? 8.31. Probably have about an hour until we need to leave to the new home. So I'll see you when I see you. Oh my God. Guys, I actually have no words. I'm so tired right now. I have personally by myself come to this place three times it doesn't sound like a lot but it's a lot and um, I've been carrying stuff that is like severely heavy on this like trolley thing and I've been going up 
two flights of stairs here, or one and two. And then at my apartment, there's like this long row, and that's about 11 steps on its own. As you can see, I'm schwitzing my ass off. I have a headache. There's no water at my old apartment right now. And um, Maggie is still there. So I might have to come back here and shower again. We'll go to the gym and shower. But this is the last load for today. Because I personally cannot do this anymore. But yeah, this is my little house. But yeah, good lord. Hello darkness, my old friend. The end is near. It's currently quarter past nine. PM and I know it doesn't it might look like nothing's changed but stuff has changed so this is what my apartment is looking like currently um, Max it's a really um, great place to sit because you're gonna flop over sorry my love excuse me excuse me oh god she loves a lid anyway um, so, all of this shit here is the same boxes, it's just stuff I need to actually throw away now. But I've got some of my furniture there, I need to move that to my bedroom. I have kind of like uninstalled my dishwasher. There's like absolutely no water in the whole of Santon right now. Ooh. So... I was lucky enough to get like a few sprinkles out of the shower but my washing machine doesn't want to work now because there's no water and I wanted to uninstall it now. <sighs> Such is life. We have the kitchen. This is the cooler bag if I need to put all of the stuff in the fridge away. I don't have that much. It's just a bunch of random shit right now and a few things in the freezer. Um, that room is pretty much the same as it was yesterday um, plus one or two boxes and then my bedroom curtains bedroom looking like a shit show I'm really just hoping I can wake up early tomorrow I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow I'm gonna wake up at like six I think maybe even half past five depending on how I end and then yeah the good thing is that my handover is only happening on Saturday and I'm going to try and push it to be a little bit later. Wow. Um, so that I have time to clean and I have time to like take over bits and bobs. But wish me luck, guys. I'm quite nervous. I probably don't think I'm going to sleep, but that's moving for you. It's moving day. Can't quite believe it. Anyway. Um, so last night and now I managed to sort out the washing machine and uh, dishwasher. I don't think I did the like installing the movement moving rods, bleh, rods properly. But um, yeah, no curtains. Those are all gone. And now I just I have about an hour until they come, and I need to take a shower. Um, you need to empty the fridge and put my TV in my bedroom I think I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this because my bedroom is in my bed so is Maggie and I can't really do it on my own so maybe I'm going to have to put it in the bathroom I'm not sure but yeah, it's the last day I had my last sleep, which was horrible of course um my little vacuum's going. But yeah, today I will try and update you guys as much as possible. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try. This moving has commenced. Bit of a problem because tons and GVM are two different things and I didn't know that so the truck is too big to get inside the complex but the guys are amazing um hold on one second it's actually just the company calling me now saying that they have to adjust the quote because they have to bring a smaller one ton truck to get it to the three ton truck 
but honestly this company is really well priced i'm going to be doing a bit of a review sorry if i'm shaking at the end of this whole thing um and either recommending it or not so you guys will obviously find out but i mean look at this so far it's I think they got here at like 10 minutes late, but like nothing. And look at the place, it's pretty much empty. So all of that furniture is already gone. All my appliances are already gone. We just have that room. And um, yeah, from Loaded. They are very strong men doing an amazing job so far, guys. What's going on, my love? Are you hiding in the bathroom? Hmm? Are you hiding in the loo, my love? Are you scared? It's okay. My, my helping. I buddy. thought you were gonna wear your crocs. Really. I have them there. <laughs> this is the bedroom. There's really not much left in here. This is pretty much just the stuff that Ooh. we're taking now. Doop doop. You're getting feisty. Hi, sweetie pie. God, I'm really shitting. So this is the situation right now. <laughs> Absolute perfection. Yeah. Pretty much playing Jenga. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to happen, but let's do another one. Because I actually used to live up there. That was my first house here. I've been here for 10 years. Now, it's time for me to depart. 10 years. Yeah. 10 years in one place. It's Nazis. So many memories. My whole memories. adult life, essentially. Literally. From when I was 19 till now 30. Wild. Yeah. Wild, wild. But we are moving on and moving up in life. I think we're nearly done and we're probably about to get going and then we're going to take a convoy to the new place. And then we do it all backwards. Hi -oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Several hours. You know what? I got time for that, darling. Your sensitive handling, your sensitive handling of the initial transition can ease the trauma and set the stage <laughs> for a happy settling in, <laughs> sleeping arrangements. Yeah, at this stage, I've kind of just given up how I look <laughs> during this vlog. But I just had my first shower. As you can see, I got sunburned. Um, also got sunburn to my arms, but it is what it is. Um, I'm so tired, guys. I really need to get some food now and just put my feet up and maybe watch some Queer Eye and have a good sleep because, wow, I am absolutely buggered. camera doesn't do it just <laughs> It's been a couple of months and I am finally settled in. Well, kind of. I haven't really had time to decorate properly as I would like to. But yeah, I, I, I originally wanted to show you guys around, but I've made the executive decision to look after myself first and keep this place quite private. But 
I will let you know that I did get a couch, <laughs> which you would be able to see on my Instagram anyway. So you can give me a follow there if you want to see more tidbits around the home. But I just wanted to say that I really, really have missed you guys and I appreciate the ones that are still around. I have another video planned, um, but here is to possibly finding a different way to look at this and, you know, posting on a more regular basis, but not with so much pressure. And yeah, I love you guys and stay peachy.